James Kaufman, World News Report, today, April 16th, 2025. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in a strong geomagnetic storm. I believe we're coming out of that storm, but it has been hectic all day. We're looking here at our KP indexes. These are summaries from different locations around the globe having to do with the geomagnetic hit, if you will, on Earth. Our Boulder KP index shows that we had six hours of a G1 geomagnetic storm today, followed by the last three hours of a G2 geomagnetic storm. Our Fredericksburg KP index said we started the day off in a G1 geomagnetic storm, we've had six hours of geomagnetic disturbance and three hours of a G2 geomagnetic storm. Our estimated planetary index, the index used by NASA and NOAA, indicates that we started the day out the G1 geomagnetic storm that was followed by, well, three more hours of a G1 geomagnetic storm followed by a G3 geomagnetic storm, KP7. I believe it's a KP7.33, but we'll check that out, followed by a G2 geomagnetic storm. So we took a beating, according to our estimated planetary KP index. Looking at our college index, we didn't see anything to start the day off with. We had a geomagnetic disturbance, and we've had six hours of a G3 geomagnetic storm strong. All right, checking our work. The latest and greatest estimated planetary KP index here. Start the day with a geomagnetic storm. Had a geomagnetic storm here as well. 467 G1, followed by that 7.33, a G3 geomagnetic storm, followed by that 6.33, a G2 geomagnetic storm. And we're waiting on that next, well, ball to drop, but I don't believe that we're going to be in a geomagnetic storm any longer, although we'll soon be looking at Discover and be able to decide for ourselves. Meanwhile, over our goes X-ray flux. We're having a very, very slow day. We have not had an M-class solar flare all day long. And our baseline is way down, trying to go below a C baseline. What a crazy week this has been. No, we're not in a proton storm, and we're not in an electron storm. So our goes electron flux. We've actually been in electron storm for seven or eight days. Something that I don't remember seeing. We've just dropped out of that electron storm. This again is the goes electron flux. Over to our Discover real time solar wind satellite. We can see that the shields have been up and down, mostly down most of the day. So plasma come in here at 48.27, we see another plasma hit here at 30, another one up here, at least in the 20s, there's a 24, another peak here, 29, lots of plasma, so definitely a coronal mass ejection, solar winds went up to just under 700, just over 600, I guess, up to about 650 kilometers per second. They've been wavering, and currently they're all the way down past 500 kilometers per second. Now, plasma is still officially in space weather territory, which is 10 centimeters cubed or higher, but it is definitely also dwindling off. Temperature is highly elevated, and it looks like it's moving with plasma, uh, as it should be. Jump on in and check ACE, real-time space weather. There are other space weather satellite. The older one of the two 
Looks like plasma did accelerate here at the beginning of the day as we saw several bumps in the road and plasma is dwindling off. Uh, it looks like our shields are back up here as we can see. And here we have temperatures falling off quickly with plasma. Solar winds here also falling off down below 500. So it's a perfect match. Went just below 700 kilometers per second with solar winds. Really closer to 650. With that said, we've been in a geomagnetic storm. And I am hurting. I want to go back to bed. Uh, we are expecting another geomagnetic storm, probably at some point tomorrow into the next day. So nothing's over. It's always just begun. God bless. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.